Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and you could say that this is for the next seven days, okay? So, say you watch this on a Saturday, it's from Saturday to Saturday, right? So anyway, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? What do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Oh, we got three. We're going to go ahead and take those. Oh, love is in the air. Something about love. Could even have to do with self-love. But the next seven days, you're probably going to be focusing on love. Something to do with love, okay? Funnel. Period of frustration. Lessons to be learned. So there's a lesson to be learned. And you're dealing with a turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. So you're be dealing with somebody that is being stupid. That's always fun. So, fun, 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 fun. Period of frustration. Lesson to be learned. Uh, love is going to be in focus. And you got somebody who's stupid. Wonderful. So, what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, unrequited love. So we got an unrequited love situation here. We got a dog, and we got a, well, you know what that is. It's a cat. It appears that the cat loves the dog, and the dog doesn't love the cat. So it looks like we got a problem. We got an unrequited love situation here. You're going to be attending a get together soon. Now that could be any type of get together, getting together with somebody. Uh, you could be getting get together with somebody who, uh, you know, Maybe they don't have good intentions. I don't know. I just had three cards come out, and I know that you got this one before. I don't know what's behind it, but this one came out. You know, this is Phoenix rising from the ashes. You got this one before. So you're still rising, and that was for the September reading. This is a weekly reading, but for the general September reading, we had Phoenix rising from the ashes. So I feel like you've been through something significant, a significant loss. You know, when, when you get this, it means that you have been through something huge, Okay, you've had a significant loss. It's like a near-death experience, whatever that may be. It could be a loss of a relationship, a loss of a, of a how, something big, something huge. But whatever you're going to be getting in return is even better. It's even better than what you had. Um, you are probably on fire. You are probably um, looking really good. Uh, your vibration is changing. Okay, you're rising. You're ri you're gonna rise above whatever this person is doing to you. I do feel like we have a person because we have someone is behaving stupidly. You could be dealing with an older man. Okay, um, you're probably gonna see an increase. Maybe you're gonna see an increase of revenue or increase in money, increase of abundance. Some of you, this could be a winning of money. Um, either way, you do have an older man. I don't know if this older man is after your money. Um, now, unrequited love doesn't have to be with a sexual partner. It could be with a family member. So I don't know if you're dealing with a family member. You know, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is really testing you. I don't know if they're after your money or they're putting you down. They're trying to keep you down, but they can't keep you down. They can't keep you down. It feels like you're dealing with this person. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has a really big ego. They're causing you a lot of frustrations. And I feel like you, you've had some sort of relationship with this person. Maybe you love this person. I don't know if it's a family member or it's a, an ex or whoever it is. It feels like you love this person, but they're really causing you a lot of problems. But they're, cause, they're also causing your transformation because that phoenix is kind of like a death card, okay? It's, it's like it's causing your, your, your transformation. It's making you into the person that you are. Um, so there is a profound life change that you're going through, and you can call it a transformation. 
Um, you probably have an ending that leads to a new beginning. It's so beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But I do feel like this is just another period of transformation. I feel like you are going to be dealing with some conflict. I do. I do. Because I feel, like, I feel like you got somebody who's fighting with you. We get the Fool on the bottom and the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could also be news of legalities here. I'm not sure if somebody is dealing with the courts or they're dealing with law officials. This is somebody that is naive. This is stupid stupid behavior so I'm wondering if you're dealing with somebody that is really challenging you there you're really there's somebody here that's really challenging you um, this person um, I don't know if they're getting the law involved or something like that or there this is somebody that may be cold they may even be abusive anyhow let's shuffle shuffle oh one fell off Ah, Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles is about abundance, about money. It's about family matters, family issues. So um, some of you could also be dealing with a father figure, could also be a sibling. Um, Ten of Pentacles. This is all about money and financial security. So this is where you are right now, focusing on your security, focusing on your home, focusing on your money. I feel like you need to protect your assets at this time. So keep that in mind. I think that you are going to be seeing an increase, but I feel like there's somebody that's after it. They're after it. I don't know why I feel that. Oh, now the King of Swords just fell out, fell right out of the deck. So this is a very prominent energy. This is somebody challenging you. Okay, they're challenging your, your home. They're challenging your living situation. They're challenging your money. They're challenging your foundation. They may be challenging your business or your job. Um... You're definitely going to have to use your head because whoever you're dealing with is very intelligent. Um, it could be a manipulator. I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is manipulative. This person is refusing to budge. They're, and I saw this before I turned on the camera. Before I turned on the camera, I saw the hangman reverse. So you're dealing with somebody that will never change. They're very, and that's why I said, without the cards, egotistical, because I had seen this before. So you are dealing with somebody that is very egotistical. They're, they're clinging to control. They're very, very controlling. Could have something to do with the Pisces. Um, I don't know. There's somebody here that will never, ever change. Uh, they refuse to look at things from any other perspective. They're probably hiding something. Maybe you're going to challenge them. There's def you're definitely going to be dealing with some challenges this week. I do feel like you need to protect yourself from this person because this person is looking out for number one and number one only. Extremely egotistical individual you're dealing with. Three of Swords reversed, Strength card, Sun reversed, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, Justice, there is, I feel Wheel of Fortune right up there with that increase in money or increase in revenue. You're going to be seeing some sort of increase, some sort of fortune is coming your way. Luck is on your side. Things are going to go in your favor. If somebody's taking you to court or you're going to court or if there's legal issues, it's going to, I feel like it's going to turn out in your favor. Even if it doesn't, it's causing your transformation because we do have a transformation here. Mm, hangman now upright six of pentacles hierophant you're protected there's a higher power here that is protecting you you're going to be receiving something you're going to be receiving some i don't know if it's a money or a new job or an offer that breaks you free from this scenario whatever this scenario is you're going to be receiving. I feel like you're receiving money or you're receiving a gift or something like that. Some of you also have a gift. You may have a spiritual gift. Okay, maybe you have a gift that you can make money on. So keep that in mind. But you need to be open to new perspectives. You need to look at things from a new perspective. I feel like this week you're going to be challenged by an unhappy camper. I feel like you have an enemy here. I, I don't know if it's a family member or it's somebody you work with or somebody that you live with or somebody that's in the household or you lived with in the past. 
I feel like you're gonna whoever you're dealing with um, is exerting their power over you they want some sort of power over you this person is in a dark place they're trying and it's like they're depleting you they're not happy at all but I feel whatever is happening it's gonna go in your favor this older it feels like somebody may be after your money I know I already said that but I think that you need to be careful I think that you really need to protect your money maybe you need to get the law involved you may need to get the law involved I feel like um, you may need to choose another option. Maybe you need to move. Some of you may need to move or or you need to move on from this person. You need to leave this person in the past. You need to uh, turn your back on somebody. I mean, I hate to say that. I feel moving on is in your future, the Six of Swords. That's going to a better place. Okay, so I feel like you're going to be moving on from somebody. You know, you're going to be leaving them behind. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very cold and abusive. I already said that. And it's time. It's time. I feel like this person has caused you a lot of pain. It's time. It's time to go. Um, there's false impressions here. There's somebody that you're dealing with. I don't know if you've worked with this person or, or you live with this person. Like I said, they're putting off false impressions. They are... Um, trying to exert their power over you unhealthy very unhealthy you're dealing with somebody that's not healthy sorry i had to uh I had to blow my nose anyhow um i feel like you're sad i feel like you're sad as well that this person is challenging you uh it's like they're constantly uh I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is is uh, very negative. They lie. They don't tell the truth. And they get away with it. They get away with it for some reason. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And you've gained so much strength through whatever this transition is. I feel like your advice is to not communicate. This is in your advice position. Don't communicate. Don't, don't, I mean, block it. Block this person. Maybe, maybe you need to stop communicating with them completely. Don't tell anybody anything. Keep everything to yourself. Don't communicate. Keep your mouth shut. I mean, I hate to say that, but you do because I feel like anything you can anything you say can and will be used against you and I feel like courts or the law is involved here so really keep what you're keep your and I hate to say this and and, and when I say courts or law it could be a boss okay it feels like you're being monitored or you're being watched and I think that you need to keep your mouth closed no offense or anything okay because this is don't say anything keep your mouth closed i don't know why i'm telling you that i don't i don't think i've ever maybe i have i don't know um it's time to move on i feel like you're gonna be moving on i feel like you're going to a better place there's travel here traveling to a new destination you're protected you're going to be receiving something that is going to break you free from this situation. You know, I, mean, I don't know. There's something to do with institutions or courts or corporations or something like that. A fair and just decision is going to be made. I feel like it's going to be made in your favor. Luck is on your side because of that wheel of fortune is the... That's the outcome card, okay? That's the that's your that's your potential outcome. This is everything going in your favor. There's karma here too. Big, 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 big karma. So some maybe maybe you're part of somebody's karma because this person doesn't tell the truth. They're dark, they are very cold and abusive. Whoever you're dealing with has gained some sort of control. But I feel like there's going to be a power shift. I do. Because I feel like there's something that is going to be seen really, really clearly. There's been confusion. There's been illusion. And I feel like what you need to know is, is, is this is what you need to know. The seven, you're dealing with somebody who has been exploring a lot of options. They've been all over the place. They've been, uh, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that, you know, is guilty. They're guilty of, of, uh going overboard it's like they they've 
I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that sleeps around. I, I don't know if that's the case or not, but it feels like there's somebody here that doesn't care who they hurt and they explore all their options and they're lying about it and they're getting caught and it's going to be seen very, very clearly, you know, and it, it doesn't have to be sleeping around, but that's what came out of my mouth. There's been an injustice here, but there's gonna be a turn of events. There is gonna be a turn of events and everybody's gonna see the truth. This is seeing, underneath the justice card, this is seeing the truth. The truth is gonna be seen. So there's some sort of, you know, somebody's guilty. They're guilty and it's gonna be seen very, 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 very clearly. You're going to get what you deserve. You are going to get what you deserve. It feels like you're going to be getting something fortunate. There's this, there you are. It's fortune, luck is on your side. You're going to be receiving something. And it, there's a new perspective that is about to be gained. There's a higher power involved. And this higher power, I don't know if there's this if there's a counselor or or if it's God or something like that. There's a higher power here that is going is going to be giving you something. You're about to receive something. I think it's good. It's going to move you in a new direction. A generous offer is coming. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra. We have Leo here as well. I feel like there's somebody that has, for some of you, somebody has been trying to make a choice. They've been exploring lots of options. I feel like a final decision is going to be made. Okay, there's a final decision that is going to be made. And you're about, and it's going to go in your favor with that justice card. You're going to be intending a get together soon. For some of you, I don't know if it's a marriage, could also be a funeral. You know, with the Hero Font card. There's going to be a change in position. Someone is behaving stupidly. This person is. There's disillusionment here. Some truth has been hidden, and I feel like the truth is going to be revealed, or it's going to be seen very, very clearly. And you're going to, I feel like you're going to be seeing an increase. You're going to be seeing an increase of support or something like that. There's also, for some of you, news of legalities here, so keep that in mind. I feel like you're going to be hearing some challenging information, or you're going to be challenged, like I said. You may have somebody here that is, I don't know, maybe it feels like they're going to shoot. They, either they're moving on, that's for somebody else. Somebody is moving on from a situation that has caused them a lot of pain. They're going in a new direction. They're giving up the battle. They're making a, a fair and just decision. They're deciding to, uh, this is a change of events, it really is. So things are about to change and it's going to be in your favor. Because, the, you know, the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. So there's some sort of truth. You can't hide the truth. This person's been hiding the truth. And, and maybe they don't want the truth to come out, so they stop. That Eight of Wands reverse is a stop. So I do feel like there's going to be a change of events. I do feel like somebody is going through an epiphany, whoever you're dealing with. They're going through a wake-up call. Whoever you're dealing with is going through a wake-up call. Maybe they've been trying to punish you. Maybe, maybe they've been jealous of you. There's definitely some jealousy issues here. But you are about to receive something. Have faith. Have trust. Believe. Somebody's becoming enlightened. They're gaining a new perspective.
This is the end of a cycle. This is a final decision to go in a different direction, seeing very, very clearly what the truth is. Somebody is seeing very clearly what the truth is. I feel like there's some, I also feel like there's sad, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad to leave, it's sad, but it's over, you know, it's sad, but it's over. You're rising, you're shining, and I do feel like you're going to be shining. going in a new direction increase in money you're going to receive an offer from somebody or you're going to you're going to receive something that is going to make you happy it is We have somebody here that has a direct connection to God that is receiving a gift that breaks them free. I mean, I can't I can't make it up, okay? That is break getting broken free from a a situation where you've had to sacrifice yourself. This is like surrendering. It's like it is this is this is a, this is a gift that breaks you free. This could be a new job or a charity or a donation or you know a reward and the wheel of fortune could be a reward as well. This is a reward for uh, your faith or your gift or whatever it is you've been doing. I feel like I feel like there's some serious struggle though and I but I feel like the struggle is ending with that wheel of fortune. This is letting something go with the hangman and and going within and I feel like we have somebody here that's about to receive something for their it feels like patronage and I don't even I don't think I've ever said that word. I feel like we have somebody here that has is, has been thinking about everything. You know, they've been um, going through a period of contemplation and now they're about to give. It's like they've been divinely guided to give you something. I don't know if this could even have to do with an inheritance for some of you. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're about to receive an increase, and this is gonna, it's really going to help you. I don't know, it may even have something to do with a stranger. So anyway, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like you are transitioning. I, I mean, that Six of Swords and that. Phoenix rising that this is a transition you are you're transitioning you're about to have maybe you're moving some of you may be moving maybe you're moving to a better place where you know there's there's less trouble you know there's less turbulence there's more peace there's more harmony somebody could also be headed towards you you know this is somebody you're definitely going to get what you deserve with the justice and the six of wands or six of pentacles that's 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 getting what you deserve and i feel like it's going in your favor so you're about to receive something that i don't know it feels like you didn't see it coming it's very positive whatever it is Good luck. 